Catlia Aclandier, three years in self-watering. Yes, I guess I started one label and then I had second thoughts. But needless to say, this has nothing to do with the name on the tag of origin. This is about the orchid itself, Catlia Aclandier. And after three years, I have this sorry little orchid to show for. Right. Catlia clandia does not like to be potted up. Well, they say it prefers to be mounted. And I'm saying, well, it can be done in self-watering with LECA. That was three years ago. Turns out my LECA was also not very clean when I potted her up the first time. But on the other hand, that is not even the result of her not performing. There are other factors going on, but I'm not suspicious of the F-bomb. I'm suspicious of the fact I didn't get the LECA to water ratio correct for her and she has at least not died which is a good thing and that's why we're going to change her setup today to give her a chance. I've learned my lesson. I'm not going to experiment with her in a different form configuration of LECA because she's growing new roots and that is what I've been waiting for and I hope all of this is in focus. I'm in a different angle today because of the pollution on the opposite side of the hedge. So many factors going in. One, the orchid would much prefer to be mounted. I'm not going to do that. Not even with my hybrid inorganic mounts. And whoa, we are having ourselves a new lacquer batch to clean because this orchid has nothing to show for. And again, that is me and my setup. That is not the quality of the orchid. I do not want to misinform with, you know, showing the tag. I just like to be able to sometimes address why I show tags and why I don't. In this case, it makes no difference. The tag, the origin of this orchid has nothing to do with the state of the orchid. It has everything to do with me. Right, clearly, that didn't work, but she is not dead, and we have new roots. Now, I am pretty confident with what I'm going to do right now, that she will be absolutely fine, because I will bring you my Senua afterwards, so that we can have a look at her as an update to the spring repot that we did to save the orchid, taking her off a mount. Taking her off a mount is one thing, putting her into a pot is another, and it was spring. So I'm going to give her the same setup, except that this time I'm finishing my dirty Lekka as crocking. I'm going to put in some large lava rock to crock even further. Yeah, so I am somewhat confident with regards to what I'm doing here. Let's add some Akadama for the wicking, water retention, wicking, etc. Because of my son, we're doing so well and we'll see her just now, but I'm also very cautiously optimistic because my coccinia, Sophronitis coccinia, was showing similar signs on a mount and I wanted to get her into a pot. And last year she showed signs of root growth and I was so happy I repotted her into a setup like this and I lost my coccinia because of the time of year. And she was a healthy orchid showing signs of root growth. Now. Here I have a weak orchid showing signs of root growth and I am well past the growing season. So I am cautious, cautious, cautious about saying this is going to work 100%. But we're going to give it a go because the lecker and self-watering, even if I did clean that up, that would not work. And that is 100% certain. This here gives me a 50-50 chance of saving my Catlia Eclandiae and making sure that she will one day recover and grow and be healthy and beautiful. So the Akadama there for the wicking, for the humidity, the grit there to keep the media a little bit more aerated and on the drier side because it is going to be a semi-hydroponic setup, but the rest is going to be small lava rock. Now, got to be careful. I'm just going to pour some right here in the front to hold her steady. That root can handle it. 
Yes, I left the old route on to anchor her into position. It won't matter here or there, that one dead root. It's not gonna make a bigger difference at all. And I'm just going to fill around with lava rock now because this would be the aeration, the drier method of growing, even though there is access to the water from the Akadama below. So I'm kind of doing a hybrid of a mount, but in a semi-hydro setup. So this is much drier, much easier for me to handle and control. And the orchid will perceive as if she is mounted because of all the air that she can get around her roots. And hopefully, That'll make her a lot happier than she has been. So why didn't I change it sooner? Because I was still testing. I was hoping to see a change. I wasn't convinced that one year of acclimating an orchid into my collection was good enough sign that she is established or she's declining. She was growing new growths every year, but she was also losing quite a few leaves in the back. So she never progressed with more structures, she always declined from the back while growing new growths. And I didn't change her because in my head, I had a feeling I could make it happen. Three years later, in this season, all these growths back here, they had beautiful leaves on them, much bigger than this one. They were quite lush, so I was hopeful and positive. Once she started pushing out this year's new growth, right here, I felt as though we were home and dry. She lost a second attempt at a new growth right there. And that's when I thought, no. The moment you throw out roots, you are going into this kind of a setup. And here we are. Very concerned, like I said, because of the time of year. But I, it looks promising because how the Cernua has performed. However, again, the Cernua was taken care of early spring and had all the growing season to adjust, to grow, to acclimate the roots, etc. So I'm just watering that in because I want the Akadama wet, I want the reservoir full, and then she will go on the shelf and be treated as if she were a Rapiculus Lelia from here on in. Now I'm just gonna get the Cernua and let's have a look at her. There we go. This is the Cernua from earlier this season. She is pot bound now. I can tug her, she is in the pot solid, and that is amazing. I'm so happy. I was very apprehensive about doing what I did in spring, but you can see there's a new growth coming there. I counted four, which is fine. Five would be nice, but so there's a new growth already on the way, tucked in back here. Just let me look ahead of time. <laughs> right there is another one. There's one somewhere down here, right in there. Oh, it's a pleasure showing this orchid because I can move the pot at an angle and have no issues. And right in there is another growth tucked in Ah, there. You know, you can see that, like a little peeking through there, yep. So that's the four that I can see at this point in time. And I'm quite happy to have those four. And they will also be growing a little bit more up and to the light because this orchid, I was trying to light train her so that when it came time to take her off the mount, the growth would be pointing up. Not as easy with this Serenua. They like to hug the mount, but we got there. Everything looks a little bit wonky in the pot for reasons, but she is now growing new growths, which will grow up towards the light. And little Aclandier will go right next to her on the shelf and they shall be treated just like I said, Rapiculus Lelias. With the exception that my Aclandier at this point in time is not going to be living outdoors. She will be baby. But up until it gets to that temperature drop in the evening, she will be next to the Cernuat sort of to get the vibe. You see, this is what I need you to do right here. Okay? You too. Talk. Thank you so much for watching. Little bit quick video getting my Aclandier sorted out, out of dirty, dirty lacquer, out of a setup that was definitely not working very well, even though my ego told me it can be done. 
I won't experiment any further. I'm quite happy to have her still around and now just to hopefully get her to have enough roots before the winter comes in. Have yourselves a beautiful day. I appreciate your time and your company and I do hope that this video was somewhat interesting. It was pretty straightforward, but hopefully somewhat interesting. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Please stay safe and take care. Bye.